I'd like to bring in, if I could, CNN religion commentator and Catholic priest, Father Edward Becca. Father, uh, an honor to have you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you were tearing up when uh, His Holiness stepped off the plane. Tell us what this moment means to you personally. Well, you know, Jake, I was thinking, here's a man who's never been to this country, and he's a simple man. As we've heard, he's probably more comfortable in the slums of Buenos Aires, in the favelas of Brazil, and yet here he is entering the corridors of power of our country. And as Delia mentioned, I think he's probably not all that comfortable with it. But I think what we're going to hear, and if I could use a scripture passage that I think would be the epitome of this visit, it would be, to whom a lot has been given, a lot is expected. I think that's the challenge he's going to give the United States. You are the richest country in the world, a country of opportunity, a country that can make a difference. Now, will you make that difference in the world? Will you give back what you've been given? So Father, Father Beck, let me just interrupt you for one second. I just want to uh, alert our viewers. We're, we're seeing live pictures now of the, the Pope and the first family, President Obama, uh, First Lady Michelle Obama, and obviously some, some uniformed Secret Service, uh, or U.S. Secret Service, uh, walking from the building. I think that President Obama will, will be escorting the Pope to his car, although given this Pope and his love of going to crowds, who knows what he's about to do uh, right now. Father Beck, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for interrupting. Please continue. No, and I wanted to say, I don't think there's going to be any finger wagging. I think what we'll see is this Pope, especially when he speaks to Congress, will praise the liberty of the United States, the democracy, the opportunity, the plurality, all that we are as a nation. But then he will call us beyond that. Again, we've been given so much as a country. How can we help those who are in need? He'll speak, I think, to the refugee problem in the world. Can we, in fact, accept more refugees than we are? These issues that are very pertinent to our world right now, I don't, don't think he will shy away from addressing them. 